In this video, we are discussing two topics, the event summary report and the task summary report. Let's move to the first topic, the event summary report. The main purpose of the event summary report is to provide an overview of the data for a particular event when it is activated for notification. This report displays the overall data for the specific event, including monthly and yearly data of the activated event. First, we need to activate the event based on the period or count. Provide the required event details, such as mapping the asset through the asset browser or dropdown. Similarly, map the category to the event. For events based on expressions, provide the necessary variables and save the event. After saving, map the input tag to the given variables. For each variable, map the input tag for the first variable, A, and select the metric. Do the same for the second variable, B, and select the metric and then save the variable details. Verify the expression result at the output tag, which is stored in this C. Next, we need to create the notification for the event and provide the required details. Like suitable title and description, check the boxes based on the requirement of email, desktop notifications, or SMS. Now give the criteria to activate event. After that, assign users if needed to send the mail when the event is activated, and similarly, for escalation to persons if required, and select retrieval period for escalate the event and save the notification. Once activation is completed, for event summary report customization of columns, we have to move global settings and navigate to the ProSend settings page. There we can see the event summary columns from that select the columns for the event summary report, which are required to view the data of the activated event. Now navigate to event summary report, where we can see the selected columns in ProSend settings and their related data. By default, in the last column, you can navigate to the event detail view to see the details of the event activated. And other option is to navigate event information to view info of particular event. Here we can see the major info of event and its notification details. Now we can see the current day activated event through filters conitant quick periods. Select current day from drop down and click on go. Here we can see the previously activated event and their details. The event count column shows the number of times the event has been activated. For more details, click on the particular column to view the event notification details. This includes the timings with value, where the criteria is met. Additionally, you have options to export this data to CSV and send it via email for to users and CC users. You can also include user groups in the to and CC fields, the option to include an Excel file is off by default, then PDF will be attached to the email and provide a message if required. Click on Send Mail. The PDF attachment will be included in the email, along with the relevant details. In the email, recipients will find the comprehensive event summary in PDF. We can easily find the event notification details if we want to send as CSV. The option has given by enabling the Include Excel option and click on Send Mail. The attached file will be sent to the recipients in CSV format. You can view the CSV file attached to the email, ensuring all recipients have the detailed event information in a structured format with the event notification details. On the main page of Summary Report, options are provided to send as mail, export to CSV, and download. This allows you to manage and distribute event information easily. From main page, we can send the mail for to user and CC user with enabling Excel option, and if require give message and same as event notification details, we can send as user groups at to. And also give user groups at CC after given required details for sending of mail. Click on send mail. The mail will send to given users by attaching the CSV file. Here we can view that particular page event summary report details in Excel sheet, which the columns are customized in ProSense settings, only that columns data only we can view SLE. Similarly for PDF, disable the include Excel and click on send mail. The email will be sent to the specified users with the attached PDF of that particular page's event summary report, 
allowing recipients to view the data in the report which is customized in ProSense settings for that page. Moving on to the reports filter for users to easy the process. We can filter data according to parent assets. Select asset from dropdown. If you want to include child assets of the selected one, check the box and also select the appropriate category, which you want to filter according to. In event category browser and click go to view the filtered data. Next, based on the selected time period, for example, if you select the previous month from the quick time periods and click go, it shows the particular event data for MTD count, which is the month to date count. This means it displays how many times that event has been activated during that month. The MTD percentage represents the average of time periods with respect to the activated count. Similarly, for YDD count, it shows the data from the start of the year to the current date. The YDD percentage is calculated as the average with respect to the YDD count. Now, let's move on to the second topic, the task summary report. The main purpose of the task summary report when the alert is generated which occurred during event activation. When we activate an event based on execution time, a task is created and assigned to a responsible user. First, activate the event with specific details such as title, description, and asset mapping from the asset browser and assign the appropriate category. In the expression field, provide the required expression. After that, is task enable option. If we enable it, we can assign the task to responsible user at notification details and save the event. After saving the event, map the input tags for each variable and select the appropriate metric for the input variables. Save the variable details. Now, check the result in the output tag to ensure that the expression is correctly executed. Now create the notification with required details. Here we can assign the task to responsible user. By enabling the task notification, through mail it will convey to user. Give task category and task type at respective fields and save the notification. After saving the notification, the responsible user will receive an email as assignment for task. The email will contain task details such as the target due time and event name. Once the event is activated, navigate to Notification Details view. There, you can see the generated task with specifically. It shows data for certain columns only. To update a task, click on the task. Here, you can see the ProSense task details. Some properties are non-editable fields with default data set for those properties. For user convenience, you can update the editable details directly and save the task. If we need to create new task for same event or for other events, click on Add Task. Provide a suitable title and specify the criticality of the task, which can be low, normal, or high. Choose the responsible user to assign the task. Next, select the status, which indicates whether the task is created, assigned, pending, or completed. This status will be communicated to the responsible user. If the task was created for a specific reason, provide it in the Reason field. You can write any additional remarks for the task in the Remarks field. If there are specific actions to perform, specify them in the Task Action field. If the Notify when delay option is enabled, it means the task is delayed and we need to mention the target time to complete the task. A delay notification will be sent to the responsible user, who can then view the delay message. We can map the asset through the functional location. Additionally, provide the progress of the task. Finally, click on Save. The newly created task will be added here. For a newly created task, the responsible user will receive two emails. The first email is the task creation, which includes the created time, notification title, and event name. The second email is the assignment, which indicates who created and assigned the task to the responsible user, and we have get the notification delay mail as remainder for task completion. For task summary headers, customization we need to navigate the global settings. Under ProSense settings, there is an option for custom task header. By default, you can see the property names and custom names. You can customize the headers using the default property names or set custom names. 
Additionally, you can define the order of properties and enable or disable the visibility of particular properties. Finally, save the custom details. After customization of task headers, navigate to reports and select the ProSense task report. Here we can view the overall task summary. By default, we can view all task summary, or we can filter the tasks based on task types. For user confidence, we can filter tasks based on assets, which is mapped to that task. From dropdown, select the asset, as well as select task category, which we can configure at global settings in task notifications. And also select quick time periods to filter the task report and click on go, we can see the filtered task report. And also from the headers, we can filter the each column. Form here also on clicking particular task. Can update the task details which we want to update or give new details and save the task report. For the task report, we can configure the categories at global settings under categories. There we find the task notification block. Here we configure the task notification for mapping of task. Give suitable name for category description. Here type by defaultly set to task notification. If required, move the category to particular parent and save. The category will add to tree list. Next move to types. There we can find the task notification. Here we can configure the task notification for mapping of task. Give appropriate name for type and description and save the type. It will add the task notification type list. This configured task notification type at task summary report. And in task report filter, in category dropdown, it will add configured task notification category. And this is all about event and task summary report. Thank you. <music>